Hi, uh, welcome to this talent video. In this video, we're going to talk about the pipeline designer. So in the pipeline designer, you can create more complex pipelines or um, it's, it's more like for a developer in preparation. Uh, basically, we saw that if you haven't seen my video, you can see the preparation video. It's more for the business users. And this one is more like uh, technical where we exactly know what to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add pipeline. You can come here. Uh, just by clicking in pipeline designer and you can also on any data set you can click uh, cre create pipeline from there as well okay so i'm gonna name this one as us customers and i can add a source so uh, i'm gonna add the source the same one i have used as a source for my data prep uh, preparation okay and now I'm going to perform certain steps. So in this in here, you see, I can't see any data validation or things like that. So in this one, I need to know exactly what I wanted to do and I need to perform those things. So if I click on this plus button, I see different processes. I'm going to go one by one um, uh, in uh, type by type. So there are schema manipulations such as adding, splitting the field, um, making one, merging one field to another are normalizing it parsing for XML if that field contains some other well more values within that or uh, we can join the tables and we can do field selections and we can convert types or we can also aggregate the data then you have ma manipulation functions such as if there is one field or two fields we're going to multiply them or uh, we can you know convert the numbers into phone number the number manipulations mathematical or string manipulation then we have routing. So routing mean uh, includes duplication. So sometimes you might want to send, you know, the data is going with pipeline is designed, but at a certain point you want to send data in two different directions. It can be a duplication, you know, send the same data in two data warehouses downstream, or we can also make, you know, filter the data and send certain data to different area and certain data to a different area. And then there are certain data quality things like data hashing, cleansing, and some uh, semantic filters. Uh, this filter also uh, gives us uh, routing part as well. And then even, you know, uh, sometimes when you are drag and drop is very handy and uh, these kind of pre-bit modules. Uh, but sometimes we feel like, you know, uh, we need more liberty to code the thing. So we can use uh, data shaping language or Python. Uh, if we know, uh, you know, more, many people are very skilled with Python. So uh, you can also have pre-built uh, scripts from other uh, areas on the web. So you can add that in your pipeline as well. So I'm not going to, uh, in this one, I'm going to go uh, some basics. The custom code one I'm going to cover later uh, in later down videos. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, converter type converter so I'm um, basically if I see uh, in my data here uh, the zip code it's has identified as as a um, FR postal code so we can convert the data type or we can also convert the semantic type as well so I'm gonna say my zip code and I'm gonna go for semantic type and I'm gonna say uh, convert that to US postcode okay so i'm gonna say click and save so now the data convert and if you see my input whenever i click on anything it input and output is showing right by right the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use a string manipulation in this one if you see my data city uh, it is in caps so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to say that you know there is a lot of other functions here as well so i'm gonna go that I'm going to say, you know, change it to a title case and I'm going to click the column city. And if you see, I can add a, create a new column here as well, or I can keep the existing one and replace the existing one. So I'm going to use the existing one. Another thing that we can do is we can join the data. So, but whenever we click join, you see, uh, there is an other source, uh, addition has been there uh, added uh, whenever I have so because we need to join it with something so I'm going to add a new source uh, in this case I have a US region 
the reason for that is if I see my data here, uh, uh, you see my state uh, region here are not like it's like cities and they are not um, properly mapped. So I'm going to have another mapping and I'm going to use that. So in this one, what I have is when I join the table and I come in here, it asks me, you know, to join the tables. So I'm going to say uh, for the left, okay, so uh, in this case, we actually kind of, um, I wanted to do this first and then later, but it doesn't matter uh, anyway. So I'm going to do that anyway. When I click join here, so I can, you know, select the which column. So uh, needs to be basis of the join. So uh, I have a state here and this needs to be connected with the state code. And I'm going to click on save here. So it's going to create a preview here for the output. And I can see, you know, there are two tables here in the input and in the output. I have uh, one column. And if I can see, you know, uh, because there are, uh, it is showing me right region. The reason for that is um, I have actually uh, in my left table there is also another region. So I can uh, drop that column as well. So um, let's say now I remember okay I, I want to I say I want to drop this column before I going there. Uh, so what I can do is I can say okay you know I don't need this column anymore. So I can select the fields uh, which of fields I want to move ahead. So I can come uh, just say, okay, you know, I don't this region because the region thing will be uh, added later on. So I can say, okay, you know, uh, that's it and save it. So there is just only one region. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is after doing all those changes, uh, what we can do is we're going to apply a semantic filter. So in this one, because I'm, um, I do not want into my downstream system. I do not want wrong records to be gone there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the email address of this particular address is not valid. So check against the email. Uh, and if it is valid, move forward. If it is not, uh, don't do that. Okay, so I'm going to again save here. And then I'm going to add a destination here. So I can again add a new data set and I have an option for campaign. We will come to that later. If I click on campaign, it says create a new campaign uh, because I don't have any campaign at the moment. So we're going to cover the campaign in the next videos and there are existing data set. So I'm going to, I have already created one so we can create one or we can use the existing one. So I have already created this one and I can just click in here and um, uh, to create an empty data set or if uh, I can show you as well how you can create an empty uh, data set. You just click add it here and I'm going to say, okay, you know, it's customer demo, let's say for that matter. And I'm going to say local connection. I'm not going to select any file and I'm going to choose a format that CSV and I'm going to set the header and to header to one. So no, you, oh, you, everything is same except you do not choose any file here and then you click on validate then the data uh, new data set is created uh, this is an empty data set uh, then you can choose this data set from here uh, once you do that then you can you see you will, you will see the option to run the data over here okay uh, before going there you see there is also another uh, yellow member here so normal data valid data will flow in here this is basically a routing and invalid route, I can send it to a different area. I can send it to a campaign or I can send it to a different database uh, for the end users to view. Uh, we will cover that in a uh, in the next videos uh, that if uh, what will happen if we send this to a campaign down, down the lane, okay? So I'm gonna delete this for now and I'm gonna run this one. So when I run this one, just like the preparation, it asks me, you know, where you want to run it. And I say, okay, run it here uh, on this one. And it's going to run in the background. And it's showing me, you know, exactly what's happening. And I can view the logs as they are being generated. Okay. 
and I can look for warnings or errors, uh, not information. So it's giving me some um, some of these warnings, but there is no error, so that is fine. Uh, I can see, you know, it's showing me the flow, and it's going to take a little time uh, to do that. Uh, meanwhile, it's running. There are certain other angles here as well, so you can uh, export this pipeline and. Uh, you can also add, add certain details here, definitely. And then this is a nice button. This says publish the artifact. Uh, when you publish this artifact, this means this is now um, a production application kind of thing. And then you can use this uh, artifact within the management console to schedule on a timing based or trigger based. It says run it successfully. And uh, I can see, you know, it has the things that have been there. And uh, now if I go to my data set, uh, data inventory, so my new data should be there. The cleans data uh, should be there in the data in here. And I can see, you know, I have some score for that. And uh, that was the name I have just uh, added this one. And I can go there and look at this data. And I can see this data. Thank you very much for watching the video. Stay tuned for more.